More than 800 firefighters are on the front lines as that fire burns through dry grass and brush west of Lake Isabella. Eyewitness News reporter Savannah Welch is there. She has more for us. Savannah? Dave Rochelle, over 2,000 residents have evacuated from Lake Isabella since the start of the fire last Wednesday. Now, there are two different evacuation sites through the Red Cross, but some people do tell me that they're still confused about when it's safe to go back home. Now, the Red Cross is providing food, showers, medication, and cots for those in the area. Animal service is also available for pets. The evacuation centers are at Woodrow Wallace Elementary School and Kern Valley High School. They report that more than 30 people stayed the last night. Evacuees at the Kernville Rodeo Ground say they're confused about the communication and knowing when it's safe to return. Kernville resident Gary Grimmer says Sunday night the flames reached the hilltop near his house and he thought he'd have to leave. He has camped out for the last couple three days actually near Lake Isabella to watch people's vehicles while they evacuate. This is mostly all my neighbor's stuff. We're just down here, just all being safe for the fire. I'm concerned. Yeah, it, this is my first time. I've been retired. I've been living up here going on two years, and it's the first time I experienced anything like that. Since this is the beginning of wildfire season, the Red Cross is asking for more volunteers throughout the next couple months. And they say that you can check their website for more information. Officials also tell me to follow Ready Kern, the emergency preparedness website, as well as check up with Kern County Fire online. Reporting in Lake Isabella, Savannah Welch, Eyewitness News. Is there a story you think we should investigate? Call our Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929.